So I'm using a test level uh, called Stone Pine Forest and um, let's add a fractal into this level and I want to walk on the fractal so I'm going to use a blueprint called Mixpinsky Light V2 here you have it so the first thing to do is fix the light so you have to go on your directional light and search for contact shadow and set that to 0.5 I've already have that and this gives you um, a better shadow because if you set to zero you don't have shadow so just do that and I also want to remove the emission so mix Pinsky light blueprint and go under emission here and set that to disabled perfect also there's uh, the material is too white I don't like that you can now change the saturation contrast and brightness here let's decrease the brightness you see that sometimes is flickering and to fix that you just have to change the epsilon here so let's set to point by about five okay and also build light again we should be ready to go so um, I want to create the mesh for the collision of only one portion of this fractal I'm going with this pillar here so I don't need all this and to do that just select your blueprint and choose mesh plan plane for bounds so double click on that search for bounds and in this way you can like decide which part you want to see and let's try this so okay let's save and now we have a nice pillar here that's perfect so let's create a mesh out of this thing uh, we need Houdini and mix Pinsky light 2 formula because we are using the same one so just drag that and again if Houdini engine here is not ready uh, just go here and restart the session or create a new session sometimes it doesn't work just do this and it will work so again we had to put the Mixpinsky here under Mixpinsky light so they have the this thing and this thing have the same exact position so just reset everything here and we can remove it so now we have to create a box so a cube and this will be the bound of our fractal mesh so we want only this part something like that and since I want to see what's going on under the box let's change uh, the material here let's search for glass okay so we we see something and now we are ready so the only thing to do is select your Houdini formula and search for this part word outliner input now just click start selection select your bound box this one and use current selection Houdini is going to calculate the mesh now and as you can see that was pretty quick so let's disable the cube and as you can see we generated a mesh on top 
let's change the light we generated a mesh on top of the blueprint formula and of course only inside the cube bounds as you can see here and you can play with uh, the settings here so you can change the subdivision or the detail level if you want to get more uh, get a more precise version of it uh, you can go crazy with the subdivisions like 1000 and we create a high quality mesh but for this example uh, we don't need to go crazy so um, let me fix the cube uh, a little so it matches the blueprint fractal okay that's pretty nice and now we can bake the mesh the Houdini mesh and to do that just click bake okay so now Houdini generated the mixed Pinsky light mesh we don't need this anymore we don't need also the box so um, let's scale this thing so we can walk on it and um, I'm going to put the mesh just under Mixpinsky light and let's scale this like 10 so as you can see it's very far from this you can change the pivot position with alt and middle mouse button I was lucky and now you can do pivot and say set as pivot offset so it will stick to that so let's reposition the thing okay I'm happy with that and now let's create a third person character so let's click add and add feature or content pack third person add to project and we should see this thing just drag that so we can go around but if you press play now let's try you see that you can control the character so to fix that um, you have to select the third person and select search for um, pos possess player and set that to player zero so if you press play now you can go around the level but as you can see we have no collisions and plus we see the mesh which is not really cool so let's enable the collisions for this mesh just select that and under static mesh double click on that and here in collision settings in collision complexity you have to change that to um, use complex collision as simple and then click save so in theory when you press play you can now go and step into the fractal as you can see it's working quite well But again, we don't want to see the actual mesh for the collision. So how to do that? We have to hide the mesh. So just go under static mesh component and search for hidden. So um, hidden in game. And I think that's it let's try yeah 
So now you can step into your fractal. You can walk. And of course, uh, you can increase the quality of the mesh by recreating it. But that's basically how you get collisions into fractals.